I'd like to welcome in retired Lieutenant Colonel Daniel Davis, senior fellow at Defense Priorities and host of Daniel Davis Deep Dive on YouTube. Colonel, great to see you uh, as always. Kind of surprising here. I mean, this high level meeting with Israel, it was set for tomorrow. It apparently will not happen, might happen, might be postponed, might be canceled. Just talk about the significance of it not happening, but the White House refusing to use the word canceled. Uh, listen, I, I think this is uh, evidence of some real problems, both uh, within the U.S. administration and definitely between Israel and the United States. I mean, you had this very unusual uh, and I think highly inappropriate move by the prime minister of, of Israel to make this public uh, condemnation of the United States. He's basically talking to the secretary of state like a, a, an angry parent to a disobedient child. Like, how dare you not give us what we've asked for? But listen, here's the important part here. The fact that this shipment of the heavy bombs, the 2,000 pound bombs is still being held up is evidence that American interest and Israeli interest are not identical. And we have a significant uh, in, uh, issue going on here about how these weapons are being used based on American law. And Bernie Sanders spoke to this yesterday where he said that it violates American law and we don't need to just give them everything they've asked for. What I would like to see is a little more backbone from American leaders to say, hey, we're going to deal with this behind the scenes, uh, but we're not going to allow anybody to talk to us like that when we're giving them everything else that they've been asking for, frankly. You know, and Lieutenant Colonel, so this weapon shipment is held up. We know that uh, Israel's prime minister not happy about it. Do you think it eventually will be released and Israel will receive those weapons? Only if they come up with some kind of a plan that satisfies the United States, that doesn't violate our laws about how our weapons are used, and, and a lot of innocent people get killed, especially in Rafah. That seems to be one of the big issues here. But I'll tell you, there's another potential ramification of all this, and that is Israel is also, also yesterday, is given more and more indications that they're getting ready to launch an offensive operation into southern Lebanon against Hezbollah. And I, and I can assure you that if they do that, it will require a massive increase in American supplies because they simply don't have the ammunition, the weapons, uh, and the, the other missiles and things they would need to sustain combat into, into Lebanon. And I hope they don't do it, but they're given songs, uh, evidence that they are. Yeah. And, and just talk about, because there are so many aspects to this, but talk about the state of U.S. Israel relations right now. We have these weapons shipment, you know, the shipment that's being held up. We have this meeting that's canceled. It's postponed. Uh, it's we're allies, but it is very obvious that tensions are building. Because we have different viewpoints on, on what's going on here. As as I've told you nearly every time we talk about this subject, that I think that Netanyahu has his country on a military path that will not succeed, that cannot succeed, and all he's going to be doing is building more insecurity for his, his country. That was bolstered actually the day before Netanyahu's comment by uh, a retired Air Force colonel in, in Israel, Ron Tira, who published an, a, a study that came to the exact same conclusion, that he says that Israel is going on a path that can't be sustained or win because it doesn't have a viable plan for what happens to the Hamas people or give enough consideration to the civilian casualties in, in uh, the Palestinian areas uh, that uh, the United States and all the other re uh, regions of the world are, are concerned about. And he said, if you don't do that, you're not going to succeed and you're going to create more enemies than you than you eliminate. That's the real issue. We see it that way, or at least some of the government do, uh, and Netanyahu doesn't seem to see it that way at all. And so you have him wanting to go one way and the United States saying, that's not going to succeed and I don't want to support something that's not going to work. You know, and, and Lieutenant Colonel, I know, you know, you know the military, but, I, you know, I have to talk to you about politics politics because politics plays into everything. How much do you think the upcoming election in November is playing into all of this, is, is playing into these increased tensions? Hugely, hugely is it playing into. And, and uh, because there's so many American politicians, Joe Biden being one of the key ones, and, and frankly, Trump as well, uh, you know, they are getting lots of pressure, lots of support from those who are on uh, Netanyahu's side who want to, to see it go this direction, and they want to see complete 
free flow of, of ammunition and weapons from the U.S., but then you also have a lot of the other side of the electorate uh, who is very much for taking care of the Palestinian people. And it's not just Arab Americans, it's plenty of Americans that are against that. And Biden is kind of caught in the middle of what does he do politically. Uh, and you're right, you can't disentangle those, but he needs to do what's right and what's going to succeed. Otherwise, he's just going to make everybody mad and he's not going to accomplish anything. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.